SpaceX Starlink 6G is here. Samsung modems help bring gigabit indoors. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for once again joining me. I don't have a cup of tea today, but I hope you do. Maybe a cup of coffee as we talk about tech and space, SpaceX, Starlink, AI, Linux, all kinds of good stuff today. Actually, we're going to combine just about all of them in today's episode. So there's a lot going on. We're talking about SpaceX, Starlink, and 6G and bringing high-speed internet into the home, into the building from DTC, direct from a satellite to your phone, which is something that we've been talking about for many, many months now. In the past, I've said this, that when it does happen, we're gonna see SpaceX Starlink become the fourth largest telco on the planet. And they're gonna be doing it without a single cell tower. All of their cell towers will be on orbit, in space, non-terrestrial, which is just amazing to me. We've talked about how can they get signal into the home? How can they get signal through concrete, through metal siding? How are they going to get the signal through windows? And they can, and it's getting better and better. And now there's a partnership happening with Samsung. And Samsung is making some amazing AI-driven modems specifically for SpaceX Starlink. I'm sure Elon is very happy about this. So that's what we're gonna get into today. I'm gonna go through the articles with you and then of course I'll give you my commentary, what I think about all this. And then finally, I wanna hear from you down below. If you don't wanna put anything down there, just put an emoji. At least I know that you actually watched the video. That would be nice. I would appreciate that. And if you enjoy the content, throw it a thumbs up. If not, throw it a thumbs down. YouTube likes it either which way. If you have subscribed, thank you. If not, consider doing so. And then click this little notification button here so I go live when a new video comes out, you will be notified of it immediately. Matter of fact, today is Friday tonight at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or Eastern Daylight Time, depends on where you are, we will be live for the JC Live Show. Join me and possibly my wife. Also, if you have not taken a look at any of my merch, check it out. Go to jchristina.com forward slash shop. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash shop. And if you want to say thank you for all of my hard work, there's a thanks button here. Click on that. Give a dollar or two if you like. If not, it's perfectly fine. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. And if you want more SpaceX Starlink specific content, I put together a playlist just for you with just under 600 videos. Click here. Not now. When you're done watching this video, click right there and you'll be able to check them out. So let's jump right in. SpaceX's 6G Starlink, the next leap in global connectivity. SpaceX is accelerating towards a new frontier with Starlink, combining version three class satellites, AI powered Samsung modems, and newly acquired mid-band spectrum. We've talked about that mid-band spectrum that they just acquired, I think it was EchoStar, for like, I don't know, $17 billion. <laughs> it's a lot. The aim, deliver gigabit level connectivity outdoors and indoors and position Starlink to compete with the world's largest telecommunication providers. This is what we've talked about for months, guys. It's happening. Just hang in there. Version 3 satellites, gigabit potential from space. Version 3 satellites are designed for tens of terabits per second of total capacity, far exceeding previous Starlink generations. While that doesn't mean every user will see terabit speeds, they never will, improved spectrum efficiency, AI-assisted beam forming, and adaptive routing could provide outdoor line of sight speeds of 100 to 200 megabits per second, even in moderately dense urban areas. Indoor throughput, historically limited by concrete and steel structures, is expected to rise significantly thanks to AI-driven modems and mid-band spectrum, mitigating the 10 to 20 dB or decibel loss typical in buildings. Whenever you're going through any type of window or some type of shingle or wall, you usually lose about 10 to 20 dB of strength. Keep that in mind, or decibels of strength. Indoor coverage breakthroughs. 
Building penetration has always been a hurdle. A 10 to 20 dB loss can reduce 100 megabit outdoor signal to 20 megabits or lower. AI enhanced modems dynamically adjust beams and channel allocation to recover much of that lost capacity. Early testing suggests 10 to 30 percent improvement over version 2 mini satellites in urban apartments and offices, making Starlink a more viable fiber alternative indoors. Very important. This is what we're looking for, guys, indoor connectivity. Samsung's collaboration and 6G ambitions. Starlink's partnership with Samsung brings AI-powered millimeter wave capable modems. Millimeter wave would be like 6G. Designed to leverage the new version 3 satellites and mid-band spectrum. Though marketed as 6G, it's not a full ITU 6G compliant standard, but a predecessor optimized for satellite to device or satellite to cell, DTC, connectivity. Promising ultra low latency, adaptive beam forming, and multiple device management. Linux-based RAN and enterprise flexibility. The new modems run on Linux. Of course they do. Enabling rapid updates, advanced traffic management, and enterprise integration. Developers in large organizations can customize routing, prioritize traffic, and integrate with internal networks, opening Starlink to industrial, government, and research applications beyond typical home users. Strategic implications. With AI-assisted routing, flexible Linux RAN, if you hear RAN ever, it's an acronym for Radio Access Network. Keep that in mind. Flexible Linux RAN and mid-band spectrum, Starlink could challenge terrestrial 5G and 6G networks, providing global coverage across 190 countries. If successful, this positions SpaceX as a fourth global telco, delivering indoor and outdoor gigabit connectivity to homes, offices, and rural regions previously underserved. The future of direct-to-cell connectivity. Starlink 6G initiative is not just a satellite upgrade. It's a strategic convergence of hardware, software, and spectrum that tackles both indoor and outdoor challenges, accelerates enterprise adoption, and could redefine global internet access for millions of users. We're finally moving into DTC where it is a viable option indoors. This is amazing to me because I talked about this probably almost a year ago, and I said, you know, if DTC gets really, really good, these telcos, the big three, you have Verizon, AT&T, and of course you have T-Mobile, just in the US alone, there's going to be a fourth, and that will be SpaceX Starlink. I know people are like, what? What are you talking about, Joe? They can't be, how are they gonna do that? How are they gonna, is Elon going to make a phone? Stop already, okay, with the damn phone. He's not making a phone, unless he absolutely has to. I got into that in other videos. Anyways, there's no such thing as a Tesla phone or a Pi phone. All those videos, faceless videos that you see there are incorrect. They're lies. <laughs> Anyways, this is really good. Like I said, this was going to happen and now we're actually seeing it happen. And now they're figuring out how to get signal indoors. Because as they said in the article, when RF or radio frequency comes into a building and it passes through concrete or steel or even through thick windows, there is a decibel reduction. Decibel is how you will rate um, the amount of RF, right, in decibels, the amount of radio frequency. So we lose about 10 to 20 dB or decibels of strength when it goes through a building. And that is the problem with DTC. Forever, it's always been like with, perfect example, Apple. The only way to use Apple's global star, just complete junk, is you have to go outside, and you have to like point your, it's like, wait a second, wait, wait, okay, to the left, okay, you're there, hold on, hold on, we're locked in, text. <laughs> you know, that's all gone. At this point, you can actually use WhatsApp with your phone, unmodified phone, 
with SpaceX Starlink connected through currently T-Mobile Spectrum and make a phone call with WhatsApp or even a video call, eh, be it that it's only 240 or 360p, but that's okay. You can still see someone. They look a little Minecrafty, but it still works, right? You can do all this stuff now where you could not do that in the past. And matter of fact, with Apple, you still can't and never will. Apple is going to have to make a decision one way or another. They're going to either go with Elon Musk and SpaceX Starlink, or they're going to have to wait for AST Space Mobile. That's it. They only have two options. And we'll see how long people are willing to wait, especially when the brand new Android phones come out there that have this new chipset in it, the Samsung chipset. This is a massive partnership folks, massive, absolutely massive. They're thinking about three to five million of these chips, these AI optimized modems, basically internal chips in 2026. Can you imagine that type of ramp up in the facilities over there at Samsung? Amazing to me, amazing. Remember, they have figured out how to get back that 10 or 20 dB loss or 10 to 30% signal loss when things are going through buildings. That is a really, really big deal, guys. A really big deal. And it all has to do with the AI modems that are doing this beam forming and using that mid-band spectrum. Remember, they're gonna be using Elon Musk spectrum, the spectrum that he bought from, uh, what was it, Echo Star for like $17.5 billion the other day. So they have a lot going on for them. And they are positioning themselves right, guys. I mean, this guy is smart. He is smart. I mean, I said it's going to happen and it ended up being right, which is always nice to be right every once in a while. But I was wrong in the time frame. I said this was going to happen by first or second quarter of next year. It's already happening. People are making voice calls with DTC direct to cell where there is no cell towers nearby directly from a satellite at 330 kilometers overhead, which is just ludicrous, but it happens. But also making voice and video calls sending messages, sending video, sending photo, everything. I mean, like I said, I was off by a little bit, by a few quarters. So it happens. Now, the companies like AST Space Mobile and Project Kuiper and OneWeb and all the rest of these people, there's no way for them to catch up. I say this all the time. And the reason being is the cadence, the sheer cadence that... SpaceX is putting up those Starlink satellites is just unbelievable. I think it was just today they put up another 28 satellites. So they're up to like, I think it's 8,800 satellites. And of those, there's about 800 of the DTC satellites. The DTC satellites are the ones that communicate to your unmodified phone. And once again, there's 800 of them. But the difference between the regular SpaceX Starlink internet satellites, the 8,800 or whatever, and these 800 is that these 800 have E node Bs built into them and a G node B built into them. It depends if it's 4G or 5G, either which way, you don't need to know about it. Basically, it's a modem built onto the satellite that converts the satellite into a cell tower in space. That's how it works. But the new version three satellites are massive, more capacity, like 10 or 15 times the capacity. And when those things have E node Bs on them, <laughs> things are going to get kind of crazy. And once again, when they're talking about speeds about 100, 150, 200 megabits outdoors, I mean, right now we're seeing about five to eight megabits. Think about that, 150 and then even if they're able to get 20 to 50 megabits indoors, who cares? That's still faster than half the cable companies that we have around us. AT&T and their stupid U-verse and DSL and all the rest of this stuff that they have, right? So, and this would be from space right through your ceiling <laughs> with nothing near you. And you don't even need a cell tower, which is unbelievable to me. Absolutely unbelievable. You know, 
This chip that they're making has four or possibly six of these high performance RF processing chips built into them that do all of that adaptive beam forming and error correction, dynamic spectrum allocation, and all of these hot words. That's what this modem from Samsung is doing. That is really going to revolutionize things. And this is a really, really big deal. And people don't see, they don't see it coming. But trust me, when I tell you that these telcos are nervous and they should be nervous because Elon always does this because he's smart. He's smart. He's like, oh, no, they don't need to worry about us. We're not trying to take over one of these telcos or something. We could buy one, Verizon, if we want to, but we're not going to do that. We don't need to do that. We just want to sell them our back end, basically. We wanna sell them the ability to offer their customers DTC, direct to sell, using our spectrum. No longer T-Mobile, remember that, okay? T-Mobile will be gone soon, trust me. They're gonna be using their own spectrum, once again, that he bought from EchoStar. And that's what he's saying, I just wanna wholesale it out. I don't wanna deal with, just stop. Just stop, all right? SpaceX Starlink will be the fourth largest provider, telco out there, and, and they will do it with not a single cell tower, not a single cell tower, besides the ones that are in orbit, which is amazing. So I wanna know, what say you? What do you think about this? Is this something that interests you? Are you someone that could use the ability to go to the top of a mountain, the middle of the ocean, in the forest somewhere, where there's absolutely no coverage, there's no cell towers, and be able to make a phone call, be able to send video, in case of emergency, be able to call a paramedic, call for help? Is this something that interests you? Because this is what's coming down the pike, and not only is it here now, and they can do it all, just like I was saying, with WhatsApp on here, make SMS messages, MMS messages, do any type of video calling, phone call, whatever, you can do it already. But you'll be able to do it on the next level with very high speeds. Like they're talking about, I was reading somewhere that here they were saying about 200 megabits. I was hearing in one of the places that we're doing like some estimations and some calculations because that's what I like, um, doing the math, they were thinking possibly about 500 megabits they're gonna be able to get if you're outside direct to your phone from a tower in space. Now, once again, is this 6G? No, it's just nomenclature. It's not really 6G. It's not ITU certified 6G, but it is the predecessor thereof, all right? And it is massive, guys. It is absolutely massive. Once again, what say you? Down below, I want to hear your thoughts. Is this something you want? Is it something that you have? Is it something that you're going to get in the future? What will you do if Apple doesn't give it to you? Will you possibly move from an Apple phone to a Android phone of some kind if they do? Because I can tell you for sure I would. Because the Apple stuff that they give is complete trash. Even now, Apple knows how poor, how complete crap Siri is, and what is Apple doing? They're pushing their questions that they're receiving from you to ChatGPT. Matter of fact, that's one of the lawsuits that Elon Musk has against Apple that's going to happen right around March of next year. And my prediction is if, Elon Musk does not prevail in that lawsuit, you might actually get your wish and see a Tesla phone. We'll see. See if I'm right. Anyways, guys, once again, down below, throw the video a thumbs up, share the video with your friends, family, colleagues, share the channel with your friends, family, colleagues, Reddit, Facebook, wherever you traverse the web. That'd be very helpful. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected hopefully through SpaceX Starlink, maybe DTC. And we'll see you in the next one. Love you guys.